Of course, it has been said that life is not long enough for it, but that is the fault of life, not chess. William Napier. Hello, chess lovers. Soren here, and in this video, I would like to share with you a very beautiful game played by American chess master William Napier. The name of his opponent is unknown, and this game was played in 1904. But before starting our game, as usual, would like to sharpen your tactical skills. Please take a look at this position. It's white to move and mate in 5. Find the solution and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Back to our main board and now without further ado, let's go for our game and see what happened on the board. Napier opened up with e4 and black responded with e5, after which white went for this hyper aggressive king's gambit. f4 is on the board. He takes f4, king's gambit accepted and we have knight f3, g5, the g pawn is coming to support the f pawn and also at some point can step forward and harass white knight. White played h4, yes, Napier is challenging the pawn on g5 and also at some point is securing the g5 square for the knight. Black responded with g4 after which the white knight jumped on g5. This is Olgair Gambit. Another popular alternative is knight e5. This is Kizaritsky Gambit, a move which Boris Pasky chose against Bobby Fischer during their first ever encounter. In case you have missed that game, I will pin the link of that game in the comment section. In our game after g4 with knight g5, the idea is to go for knight takes f7 sacrifice and yes, after h6, knight takes f7 is on the board. King takes f7. In here, usually white is developing his light squared bishop with the tempo, but in our game with d4. In this case, white is opening up the dark squared bishop's diagonal and wants to win the pawn on f4. d5 was played, bishop takes f4 and bishop g7, although developing the knight could have been better. If e5, then knight h5. But in our game we have bishop g7 and knight c3. d takes e4, which allows white to equalize the game. It was not too late to play knight f6, but in our game we have d takes e4, which is allowing white to develop his light squared bishop with a tempo and we have bishop c4 check, king g6, and this time we have h5 check, king h7. And now if we have a look at the position, looks like that Black managed to successfully hide his king on h7, but now white will find a way to harass that king even on h7. Here we have knight takes e4, queen takes d4 and bishop d3. Yes, with his last move white rejected the offer of exchange of queens and right now white has created a mating threat. Bishop f5 was played, Black blocked the light squared bishop's diagonal, but this time we have an epic queen takes g4 sacrifice. Look at this. Now if bishop takes g4, then knight g5 checkmate is coming. After queen takes g4, black played queen d7, but that allows white to checkmate black king in three moves. Instead of queen d7, it was better to develop the knight and protect the light squared bishop. And at the same time, in this case, black is freeing the g8 square for the king. If knight g5 check, then h takes g5, and if bishop takes f5, then king g8. And yes, in here, white can give a perpetual check. By the way, after bishop e6, playing king f8 is not a good idea because of this rook f1, and white is managing to create dangerous threats. Let's go back, but in our game, after queen takes g4, we have queen d7. And actually we have reached the critical position and you can pause the video and try to find mate in 3. Ready? In here William Napier went for this amazing queen g6 sacrifice. Look at this beautiful move. Bishop takes g6 is forced after which we have knight g5 check. Yes, white is also sacrificing his knight. h takes g5 is forced after which... William Napier captured on g6 with a pawn and we have a brutal checkmate on the board. Look at this beauty, guys. What an amazing final position. Thanks for watching. If you like this final combination, give the thumbs up. 
Also, share this beautiful game with your friends. Let them know about this majestic game. For more games, consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Take care.